Hey YouTube, welcome to TCTN of YouTube. Um, thank you for being here. If this is your first time, welcome. If you have been here before, thank you for being back. I will probably talk really fast in this video. If I trip over my words or say sentences that don't make sense, please forgive me. Um, I'm trying to cram a lot into this video, which is the unboxing of my September BoxyCharm. And also for the first time, I have received... Um, my subscription for Ipsy Glam Plus. I've never had Ipsy. There was something in the sneak peek I saw, and I'm like, oh, I want that. And it was cheaper to have the subscription box and receiving the net than to purchase it separate. So that's why I did that. So the first thing I'm going to do is because I'm excited because I have never subscribed to Ipsy, and I did subscribe to Ipsy Glam Plus. I will put the information below. I have my reading glasses here, so I don't sound like I'm illiterate when I'm reading. So I'm going to open this up. I received them yesterday. Yesterday was September 12th. And so opening the Ipsy box glam bag plus. I don't want to drop things. Don't be pretty like them. Be pretty like you. Oh, Bright yellow. Oh, that's loud. Okay. I thought I had enough space and I'm already knocking stuff over. So the first thing I see in here. Oh my goodness. Well, let me back up. There is a pamphlet in here. I don't know what this stuff is. <laughs> Find your light. It says, September is all about new paths and possibilities. So whether it's going all out with a bold new lip shade or masking at home to recharge from within, take a moment to rediscover your guiding North Star. Where, where will it lead you? Hashtag discover yourself. And then it has in here what's on here. The only thing on my face today, I do have one primer, foundation, concealer setting powder that's the only thing because I didn't know what was going to be in these boxes and I was hoping to be quick enough to try things on so it tells me there's an eyeliner in here oh that's what I had wanted that I saw um, was the Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape eyeshadow palette so this is what I subscribed for and that is in here and that retails for $25 I'm not going to read through all of this information because I want to keep this video as short as possible and I hate to pass that responsibility off but I know there's other people that really go into specific detail um, about these items and so I am not going to do that. I may write it below but I'm not sure. Um, the eyeliner that I already mentioned, this is a big box. <laughs> I go Black Magic Liquid Eyeliner in Carbon Black that values at $22. What is this box? I do care. D-E-W. Disco Kitten. Ooh. Illuminating Diamond Pill-Off Mask. I do not like pill-off masks. I will not be using this, so I need to figure out who to give that to. That does use pill-off masks. Seate London. Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I will be trying that. And... This is probably, well, it sounds nice. <laughs> the Ofra Cosmetics, Ofra X Madison Miller Squad Palette. And it looks like it's a blush and highlight palette. It says, Multitaskers Rejoice, this three-piece palette collab from Ofra Cosmetics and content creator Madison Miller, a new mama, is all about that to go glow. Highly pigmented and a cinch to blend, this rosy combo of blush and a highlighter creates it a lit from within look in mere minutes. Tip, make the most of your palette by dipping a wet brush in the pigments and pigments to use as an eyeshadow. So, all right, we're gonna put all of this back in the box and then I'm gonna open up the boxy charm, and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna put on my face. I didn't say what that retails for. The Disco Kitten Pill Off Mask retails for $23. The Translucent Powder retails for $22. And the Ofra Cosmetics Madison Squad palette retails for $35. And I will add that up and put that below or somewhere in this video. I'm trying to see. I don't know if this number down here is. I am sweating already. This is horrible how much I sweat. 
I'm trying to see if there's a variation number like they have on BoxyCharm, but there's a number on here that says, what's the word and number? Box104SE19. So maybe it's Box104 September 2019. I don't know. Then it has another number, 1012794. I don't know what that means, but that's the number on there. So let's open up the BoxyCharm really quick. Oh, it's horrible how much I'm sweating. I did turn the AC down with a temperature down to 75. I usually keep it on 79 because I found out when I have the fan on, it, it messes with the sound quality in the video and I don't have a microphone yet. So I'm opening the BoxyCharm box. And as we know, it comes with a pamphlet. Why did I take off my reading glasses? I'm sweating horribly. I'm reading it to see if I got what I wanted to get. I think so. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I have variation number one. I'm number one. Hey. All right, so let's see. I have, I think I think I wanted this or the Too Faced face palette. I'm not sure. Because Too Faced and Tarte are not really my friends. Like, we're not really tight like that. But I think this is what I did want to get. This is the Violet Voss Essentials eyeshadow palette. Retails for $29. Some people were saying they didn't want it because, oh man, I was reading reviews. Well, not reading reviews, but on Instagram. And people were saying, I'm being careful because I don't want to make a mess. People were saying their green eyeshadow was broken. And mine's is busted. And I don't want it to fall everywhere. It, yeah, that green is just cracked and busted. That to me is a testament to the quality of the shadows too. Like when they ship it, and it was cased in this bubble wrap. So like why is that shadow, that green one is just completely broken. And so I will write in and see if they will send me another one or how they will fix the situation. Other than that, I do really like the colors. Um, I might play with that today just to see how that works. But I am disappointed. Um, a lot of people were like, oh, my green shadow was broken. That color's emerald. And other people were like, yeah, mine's too, mine's too, mine's too, mine's too. And I'm like, damn. So I, I did say what that retails for, right? $29. <laughs> I dropped it. I dropped the paper. And I almost fell off the chair. <sighs> this is the craziness in the, in the TCTN. This is um, Dr. Brandt Hydrobiotic Recovery Sleeping Mask. Retails for $52, which is like double the price of the subscription, which is only $21 a month. A hydrating recovery sleeping mask that balances skin's naturally occurring flora and locks in moisture overnight to reduce redness and soothe the signs of irritation. I will try that. Not today in this video, but I will try that. And then there's like other things just at the bottom of the box, like they just tossed it in here. <laughs> what is this? Oh, how do you pronounce this? BDB, Billion Dollar Brow, the microblade effect brow pen. I've seen people using this on YouTube and they were just not impressed because of um, the design of the brush part on here. <laughs> I'm not even going to open this because if I do, I know it's going to end up in the trash. But this retails for $18. I don't know. We'll see because I'm already at 10 minutes and so I probably will not. The other thing in here is Hank and Henry Blickety Black Eyeliner. Oh, so I got two eyeliners. One from Ipsy Glam Plus and this. This one retails for $20. Long wearing and transfer resistant, which is perfect for those with hooded eyes. Slightly hooded eyes here. If I do a thick liner... During the course of the night, it will might end up up here. So I have to always try and do a thin liner. The last thing in this box, I'm excited to try these. The Moda Pro 5-piece brush set. It retails for $27. Not that I need any more brushes. And I'm not going to use these today because I have a habit of washing my brushes before I use them. But I will show you... If I can get this last one out of here, what these look like. I like the handles because it's grooved. 
I don't know if you can hear that. Well, that's the dryer. I apologize. No, that's the washing machine, sorry. But this is grooved, and so I like it because it seems easy to handle. These are very lightweight. I'm used to, well, no, I guess they're about the same as other brushes. This one, crease brush. This is a smudger. Eyeliner. Detail brush. And this one is a shader brush. You know what I might do? I kind of want to just end this video because I'm at 11 minutes and use these products in a separate video and also use this palette with the brushes. So I think I am going to do that another day, the eyeshadow part. Um, so I do want to see if they're going to exchange that palette. So I'm going to put the BoxyCharm box aside and I will put the value of that box down below and so what am I going to do for today for the rest of my long ass video I don't I think I'm going to use this the Ipsy Glam Plus palette in another video as well the eyeshadow palette but I do want to open it to see what the colors are if I can do so without stabbing myself with my scissors I am like seriously sweating as I always do. The packaging is cute and they have on the back what the colors are and what the names are which means <laughs> hey my reading glasses. <laughs> See if anything's broken. Nothing's broken. Oh these um hands are huge. <laughs> and the colors are on here. This is coastal sea foam sand dollar Golden Reef, Sea Salt, and Champagne Harbor. So yeah, I'm going to do a look with both of these palettes in a separate video. But those are those colors. They look really nice. This one looks to be the only matte. This looks like it may be matte, but this one and these three are definitely shimmer so we have matte shimmer matte shimmer 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 pretty I will try these and hopefully I like it and the Ofra face palette we're gonna open that up I don't know why I didn't open them like when I opened the box in the first place I like the packaging it has a it's broken I was going to say it has a snap closure, and then I'm like, why is it moving? Do you guys see this right here? It's cracked. Look at that. It is cracked. On that side. Oh my gosh. This is... <laughs> Look at this. It is cracked. And I'm opening it, and it's just, this is not even attached on this side because it is cracked. Like, look at this. It is not, oh my gosh, Ipsy Glam Plus. I'll, so I'll be emailing them as well. This entire side is a mirror on the inside, and this is what is inside the palette. Wow. So I will, oh, this is so disappointing when you receive something. Okay, so BoxyCharm and eyeshadow is cracked. Ipsy Glam Plus, the palette itself is cracked. And this, <laughs> this shade here, I don't know if you can tell, but this side is like popping out of the pan. And I'm using my finger to press it in. This pan is not really secure in here. So I pressed on it. Sorry about that. That was my dryer. So I pressed on it to get it even, and I can feel it shifting. This is very... I'll try it in another video, because I don't want to go on and on about my disappointment. And so we'll see how how this turns out with this. This thing is like... Okay. Thanks for watching. 
I'll put the price, um, the total value of the Ipsy Glam Plus box, box below, as well as how much the subscription is per month. And also, I'll do the same for BoxyCharm. I will get in touch with BoxyCharm about that green in the Violet Vault, and I will get in touch with Ipsy Glam Plus about this cracked palette. And I'll do a video another day using the motor brushes with the eyeshadow palette. Thank you for watching. I'm really upset. I'm, I'm, yeah. See me in the next video. If you enjoyed this video, regardless of all this nonsense, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Check out my other videos. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think. If you received Ipsy Glam Plus, let me know about the products you received, what you like, what you didn't like, and also for BoxyCharm, what you received and what you liked and you didn't like. And you'll see me in the next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.